Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, today I'm be doing a different type of video um, that I don't really do, um, but I, I kind of feel like doing this because this is something that was part of my childhood and something that made my childhood really, really good. And uh, it's like technology related, and I've, I've realized like I make tech reviews and that kind of stuff. Let's let's do a personal retro review, like do me personally using it, like. You know, because in the, my tech review, I just film B-roll clips and just talk about it. But let's show me actually personally using it. And we, we're going to take a trip of time. Did I just say a trip of time? What? What the f- uh, Or take a trip down memory lane. And uh, take do a retro review on some old toys I used to mess around with. Uh, and you may be wondering why toys? Because they're actually... You know, their technology and they're actually super cool, like actually not baby toys. It actually could help some people, maybe, who knows. But anyways, so the two toys that we'll be reviewing is, this is the first one. It's an iQuest handheld from Leapfrog. Um, this was made in 2003 and I got this back in 2010. That's the first one. And then we have this, the Turbo Twist from, also it's from Leapfrog, but it has a different brand called Quantum Leap, which is, it says down there, it's a Leapfrog brand. This I also got in 2010, I don't know what year this came out, I think it came out in also 2003, I don't know. But, so we're going to review this one first, and then I'll, I'll save this one for last. So, I actually moved out of the way so it's not distracting. So, this is the iQuest Handheld. It's basically like a device that could be meant for school. It was basically like an electronic school device, like a calculator, dictionary, kind of like help you with, you know, school and that kind of stuff. And I guess this made sense for back in the day because, you know, smartphones weren't really a thing. There were phones, but they were super old, like flip phones and these, like these, you know, phones with buttons. This kind of reminds me, the look kind of reminds me of the old Palm Trio. My mom used to have one uh, back when I was, I believe, eight years old. I was pretty young, but yeah, and I would always mess around with it. The, the design kind of looks like it because of the color, and also the keyboard, I guess, a little, even though, I don't know, it's it, it's reminiscent to that, or the other design is, or the other, yeah, the other phone is reminiscent to the design of this, but yeah. So again, it's basic, it's mainly like a school device. You could also... You can insert cartridges, so like for any certain topic to kind of like help you out and quiz you, and you know, it basically that kind of stuff. So it could be like maybe an online textbook or an online quiz or something like that. You can also again look up. You can also set like calendars. Uh, you can set alarms, that kind of stuff, or reminders, um, and the dictionary. So I guess it was more like a, a electronic agenda, basically. I guess that's what I'll say it was. It was an electronic agenda while also helping you out with school so I have this cartridge right here math grade 6 through 8 so as you can see this isn't just this is no baby toy you know even in middle school you could have used this or this would have been helpful for me when I was in middle school so yeah I like the design this little thing can actually come off it's like a little clipper uh, and it looks so ugly with that but and we're gonna put that so it's ISS iQuest 4.0 uh, and these are the buttons. It looks really cool. The paint's kind of coming off of this one, but I don't care. And uh, yeah, another back. Uh, nothing too simple. It's just speakers. And then the back cover. Here's the old Leapfrog logo. Uh, I have uh, had a lot of Leapfrog toys. I even had this one toy, another one from Leapfrog. It's the Quantum Pad Learning System. It was basically like a like a, a book reader, but also had like games and activities and that kind of stuff. I got it when I was nine. And I think my parents threw it away. I don't know why I would throw something like that away. It made my childhood. I don't know. One day I'll buy it again and I'll make another retro review like I'm doing with this. But yeah. If you still, you know, for some reason want to play around with this, this requires four AAA batteries. At first, I forgot about that. I thought it was double A, but then I, like, recently, like, last week or the week before, I was checking and they actually had, like, AAA. So I was like, oh, never mind. But all right. So here we go. Let's power this sucker on. You just basic so the buttons here and the volume buttons over here. So here we go. Takes a little while. Here we go. Welcome to the iQuest hand. 
2003. So, I quest lord test cartridge. So, you can even set the time. Like, here it has the date. November 16. Is it the 16? Let me see. Uh... Yes, it is, but it's Use not. Use the arrow keys to make a selection. It's not Press six. enter when you are ready. The clock's a little ahead of us, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to fix it right now, but you see, you have a lot of options. You have chapter challenge, pop quiz, pop quiz address book. You have address book, you have a schedule. schedule. Yeah, so like, and also have a notepad. notepad. Dictionary. Calculator. So, basically like an agenda, you also can use anagram. Anagram game. Options and setup and that kind of stuff. So chapter challenge. So the cartridge I have again is a math one. So this would help. This would like especially because again, this was in two thousand three when smartphones what were not really. What you want to do? Use the arrow key. Okay, shut up. Chapter challenge. So basically, back in the day, because smartphones were not the thing, so this was probably helpful for a lot of people. So let's start with the chapter challenge. You already selected this topic. Oh. I forgot how exactly uh, I could select topics, but it's basically when you. Oh, I think I have to. Use the arrow keys to select a chapter. I'm gonna have to start lowering the volume now. Okay, so if you want to select a new one, you would have to get rid of the cartridge. But I really don't feel like doing that right now. So, all right, so let's pick. Let's pick something. You guys can see my math skills. So we got place value, round and estimate decimals, compare and order, uh, add and subtract. Uh, let's do one I haven't done. Compare and order decimals. This is middle school math Use too. If I forget, I'm really that stupid. So here this we go. This chapter contains 32 questions. Let's get started. 32. True or false? This is greater than that. Nope, that is actually false. False. All right. Here's the next question. So, which of the following numbers is the greatest? I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Numbers is the greatest. That's easy. Here's the next question. So, the point I guess kind of raise up. What number set is in order from least to greatest? Oh, I got this. Um, actually, yeah, it's this one. Here's the next question. So, order these numbers from least to greatest. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, wait. How do I... Okay, if you have, if you want to repeat a question, just hit this button. Let's see it again. Oh, boy, this is actually a little bit difficult. I gotta try to remember it if I can. Press the enter key when you're ready to choose an answer. D goes first, I believe. So let me see again. Remember, D goes first. I, I already saw that. And then they said either C... Enter key when you're ready to choose an answer. It's D, E, I think. It's this one. Not quite. Oh. oh, okay, there was another one. Try again for 50 points. I'm not reading correctly. It's this one. Here's the next question. So, yeah, this is very helpful. Oh, God. Mario has 525. Jen has 20. Who has the most money? Press the oh, this is easy. When you're it's ready. Mario. Here's the next question. Find the greatest number. Yeah, it's obviously this one. Here's the next question. Uh, probably when I get to 10 questions, I'm gonna exit and go to the menu. Oh, hold on, I didn't see that. Nope. True or false, a student weighing 85, 85.09 pounds is heavier than... Press the enter key when you... Nope, that's actually false. Here's the next question. Find the greatest number. It's this one. Oh no, hold on. Try I'm not again. looking correctly. I think it was, uh... It was this one. Here's the next question. Man, uh, 32. Replace the question mark to make the statement true. Oh, I got this. It's, it's equals. They may look different, but because, you know, they didn't just get, they did not the zero. Replace that with the correct sign. Oh, I got this. Question. Maybe I might go on for the rest of it. You know what? Now nah, let's go back. All right. So if you want to go to the main menu, you just push the menu button. Oh, Press menu. menu to end the game. Main menu. So then you also got pop quiz. Pop quiz. Let's try that. Pop quiz. Ready to be quizzed? 
You already selected this topic. Display data with graphs. Oh, God. I think I should have selected something else. Because with graphs, I'm not super good at, but let's try this. Read and intercept. Enter. What? Did they even say interpret? Yeah, I don't think Use I spelled it correctly. Arrow. You've right. got 264 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as you can. Your that's, 200. That's about four and a half minutes. Four seconds starts now. Which kind of graph will you not use a break symbol for? Break symbol for? I don't even know. Can I, uh. Let's see again. Hmm. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not good with graphs. The graph shows two measurements that change in different ways. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even read the population in millions. How much larger is Peru's population in Chile's? Uh, population. In, all right. So, oh wait, what? They don't even give me a graph. In millions. Bolivia. How much larger? I don't even know. They don't even. Yeah, they don't even. Yeah, I'm not good with this. Let's try something else. But you get the idea. This is how it works. And you got the address book. Address book. Enter in your family and friends. So yeah, basically you could also use this as a contact, so like to keep track of your contacts. The only contact I have in here is Leapfrog, uh, but yeah, I don't know if they if this is their number anymore now because this is 2003. But yeah. You can basically just add your own. Uh, how do I go back? Oh, they even have their own address, which is in Emeryville, California. That's cool. So if you press, oh no, that's gonna kind of edit it. But all right, let's go back. Main menu. Then you have notepad. the notepad. Notepad. Write notes to yourself. I I wrote a bunch of weird stuff on here, but I reset it all. Uh, I guess maybe. I'm ashamed of it for like, erasing it, but also uh, not because it was super cringe and I wrote a lot of weird stuff. But yeah, so you can see how this is helpful for. To write a note, okay, you know what? Shut up. Main menu. So you can see how it was pretty useful to actually, um, what you call, for, for kids in school. And you also have your own dictionary. online dictionary and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't think you need any Wi Fi connection. You can just look it up like that. Merriam Webster's School Dictionary. Yeah, so you can basically. Fine. Type in the word you want to look up. Press so, enter when you're finished. Alright, so for example, let's look up the word gag. Oh, well, there's two. Gag. Prevent from speaking or crying by stopping up the mouth to prevent to read. No. More like it's the first definition that kind of describes it. Now, how do I go back? Oh, you gotta. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hold on. All right. Uh, let's Type in the word you want to look up. Press enter when you're finished. I don't know. Oh, let me see. I wonder if they have this still. No, they don't have that word Type either. In the I got it. This distorted. Well, oh, they have distort. Uh, twist out of the true meaning. Misrepresent. Twist out of a natural, normal. Original shape. <laughs> I think this is about right. I've been watching too much Toy Story memes. That's why. What if I look up the word? Uh... Oh, you gotta got it. Um... Thick. Thick and thin. I don't know what word I'm looking up. Wait, what? Every difficulty and all... no, that is not correct at all. Let's see. Uh, having. Uh... No, this is not. Yeah, it's not it. Okay, let's, let's forget the dictionary. But you get the idea how it works. If you hear that noise, that's my sister. Sorry. Then you also have your calculator. Anagram calculator. So uh, we're not gonna play. Uh, well, I'll just look through the calculator real quick. Just calculator. So this is just a layout, but yeah, you can just basically write however you want to do it. So I'm not really gonna do this. So I can get to the next toy, the table twist. Main menu. So the last game we have game. is the anagram game. I'm not very good with any anagrams. Anagrams. Use the letters to create as many words as you can. All right, let's do this. Picking words from your word list. All right, what do we got? Ready, set, go. All right, mate. I think it's one word already. Good job. Keep going. Matt. Good 
job. Keep going. Hmm. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, eight. Good job. Keep going. Uh, Mac. Ow. That's a word. Try again. That's Mac is a word. It can be used for a person's name or my computer. Uh, oh, I got it. Cat. Good job. Keep going. Um, uh, let's see. Tame. Did I use that already? Nope. Good job. Keep going. Uh, came. Good job. Keep going. This is not a word. Ow. Yeah. Hmm? I already used Ow. it, did I? You all. Good job. Keep going. Yeah, so you guys get the idea, but yeah. Main menu. Then you have the options, options and, and setup. setup. Options and setup. So not nothing really. You just kind of can change. Arrow. You can just change the volume, the alarms. If you want them on question, music, the time, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, you see. Main menu. So that's the iQuest handheld. It's kind of a short review here. It's been like what a couple minutes. But yeah, if you use this more, uh, you will understand it. But I just kind of like showed like. Use the arrow keys to make a selection. Okay, sure. Press options no, and we're done here with this. But yeah, that's a nice, uh, nice shutdown noise. But yeah, you could see just from what I showed you guys all the options you, that you had on this and how it was pretty helpful, especially from a company like Leapfrog, who just like makes a lot of like toddler toys and that kind of thing. But. I mean, I, I was really happy with this back in the day. I was in the first grade, and, and I remember the memories I made with this. But I didn't use this as much as I used this. This is the Turbo Twist. So this, in its own, was basically um, another school-related toy. I think it, this one was meant for younger people because it kind of, like, helps you. And you can play. It's mainly, like, a game kind of thing. But as you can see, this is uh, a Leapfrog brand, Quantum Leap, the same brand who made that Quantum Pad thingy I just uh, showed you guys what I was talking about. Uh, well, we'll speak of that uh, later on, but yeah. Now this one has a missing battery cover, so if this shuts off randomly, it's because the battery position is a little weird and kind of awkward and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so here you could insert a cartridge also, but because unfortunately I lost mine, so I cannot use it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You just twist it and you slam, and it has these these buttons look pretty cool. All right, let's power it on. Quantum Leap. Welcome to Turbo Twist. Brain Quest. I'm Jason. I'm Anna. And this is BQ. We'll be your host. Let's have some fun. To enter your game. So yeah, because the because the battery resets, it also or resets play everything. Right away, press the up arrow. So this just to do it as well, a guest. Guest, let's get started. Twist to choose a game. Slam to start. Also, considering the fact this is such a tinier screen, it's actually more fun. But all right, we got the game. Twist games. to choose a game. Is that a fact? Blast off. Blast off. Beat the clock. Beat the clock. Multi blaster. Multi blaster. So. This is kind of like the yeah, quest. This this is this would be the chapter challenge. I guess time to help you like Slam to to, start. for that kind of stuff. Last this off. is like a pop quiz game, sort of. Beat the clock. This is pop quiz, but you're timed. You have like ninety seconds. And this is a pop quiz to play with many people. So is that a fact? let's just go through all of them. The name of the game is is that a fact? Let the attack begin. Twist to choose a category. Grab bag. I don't know what this is. English. You have English. Social studies. Social studies. Science. And you have science. Grab bag. I've never bag. heard of grab bag before besides in this. I think I'm, I don't even know what it is, but let's try this. The category is grab bag. Your current grab bag level is level one. Slam to start. So you can change or the level if you want to. Your current grab bag level. Press the up level changer. You know, let's still go all the way up since I'm already a junior. Level 10. Open wide and let the So they already gave you the up. answer. You don't have to solve anything. They just give it to you. Who was not a dictator? Who was not a dictator? Churchill, Mulini, I'm not going to say that. Stalin, Hitler. What's the answer? Slam to show it. See, they just show you the answer right away. The correct answer is Churchill. I knew that. Did you know that? 
So which one of these causes sound? That music is the same one that was in the egg quest. What causes sound? What's the answer? Slam well, to show it. So you slam with this button. The correct answer is vibration. You don't say. Tell me more. Slam on the where so one paper invented. Where was paper invented? China, Egypt, Italy, Greece. What's the answer? the answer? I, I was doing this like last week. The correct answer is China. China. Hmm. Very interesting. So it's Slam. Playing. What is the euro? The euro. European currency is not The it? correct answer is new European common currency. No, oh, they read more of it. I didn't know that. Find the capital city of Russia. Capital of Russia. There's Moscow, Kiev, Mugrad, Paris. It's definitely not the Paris. Answer? The correct answer is Moscow. Yep. Wow. Tell me more. So what is mean? a limerick? What's a what? What is a limerick? Limerick. Never heard of that one. Poem, fruit, heart candy, riddle. I don't know. The I'm correct that answer is a even kind for, of poem. Even for like a toy meant for younger children. Slam. What does a metaphor do? What does metaphor do? Compare things. Ask questions. Let's see if they're too long. The correct answer is compares things. Wasn't like also like a vision or something like that? Wow. Tell me more. What is an anthology? You said a like The so correct skipping. answer is collection. You don't say. Tell me more. Skip going. Slam. What was Iran formerly called? I don't know. Shangri-La, Terra, Persia, Europe. What's the answer? No idea. The correct answer is Persia. I knew that. Did you know that? They also randomly give you fun facts, question. like if you want to know something like. What like, kind I'll, of? I'll wait later on see if like they give it to me. What, what kind question? of food is an artichoke? Artichoke? I heard artichoke. The correct answer. Reminds me of something my vegetable. friend my friend said a while back I in didn't my know classes. That. Who was the most powerful of Greek gods? Poseidon, Zeus, Artis. What? The correct answer is Zeus. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely heard that before. Somewhere. Very interesting. Which is a form of protest? A form of protest. A stake. A strike. A stunt. It's a strike. Wasn't it a strike? The correct answer is a strike. Yeah. I knew that. Did you know that? Yeah. Slam for the next Waiting question. for the fun fact to show you guys what, what I mean. A first draft. First draft? Well, that's like the first story they write, no? The correct answer is the first copy of a story. Yeah, exactly. The first story. I didn't know that. Slam. What's another name for the North Star? If they don't hurry up with this fun fact, I don't know. The correct answer is Polaris. You don't say. Tell me more. It was not in Slam. grab back, that was so good at it. It was like the other top of the cheap export. What's what? What's Costa Rica's cheap export? Cheap export. I don't know. It's coffee, isn't it? Didn't I... The correct answer is coffee. Yeah. Now that's a fact. Slam for the next one. Yeah, taking too long. Let's go to the Twist to choose again. You gotta hold it. Oh, and the batteries came out again. That's all I was talking about if it randomly shuts down. Alright, I'm back. So, I turned that on. Also, I had to plug in my camera in because it was running low on battery. So, I was going to move on to the next game. Careful not to touch the batteries or something. The more you know, the farther you go. Twist for choices. Slam for answers. Let's get started. Slam to continue. Twist to choose a category. Grab back. I already did that. Let's do English. The category is English. Your current music. English level is level one. Let's do Slam. like level a 
Let's not go all the way up. Let's go like level five or level six. Level six. This question is worth one hundred brain cells. That's what they call the points, brain cells. It's called brain quest. What is another word for donkey? Donkey. Burro. 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 At first, I thought they were gonna say Jack or something like that. Oh right. Your total score is 100 brain cells. Here we go for a cool 150 brain cells. Which means the same as generous. Generous? That'd be uh, unselfish. Wouldn't it be? It's one of these. Mm, I'm gonna get it wrong. Oh, I got it right. Unselfish. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Here we go for 200 brain cells. Find a synonym of pretty. Pretty. Twisted. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. Three in a row. Let's go for four in a row. This question is worth 250 brain cells. All right, let's go. Find the spelling mistake. Spelling mistake. That's not. Nice. It's supposed to be with an I, not a Y. Found it. Four, five in a row, and three hundred brain cells. Right, let's go. What do you call a word that has the same meaning as another word? Same meaning, same synonym. A synonym. Little too long for victory music. Are you ready for more? This question is worth 350 brain cells. What do you do when you ride a bike? Pedal. Wait, hold on, I got one of these. Oh, this, this one, wasn't it? Yep. Pedal. Four, seven in a row, and 400 brain cells. Spell I'm gonna the dance. past tense of shut. Spell the past tense of shut. Shut? Oh, shut. Shut it. Try again what? for half spell. Oh, I didn't get it right there. Oh, it's missing there. Shut. Oh, then. Quantum. Oh, it just died on me again. Welcome to Turbo to enter wow, your game. Wow, okay. I need to stop touching it near the battery. I wish this had a cover. Twist to choose a game. Alright, well, let's, let's just do the beat the clock, which is the time pop quiz. Get ready to beat the clock. The game where time waits for no one. Oh! You've got brains. And we've got questions. Answer as many as you can in 90 seconds. Twist for choices. <laughs> Slam for answers. <laughs> Good luck. Slam to continue. Twist to choose a category. Alright, well, I already did the first two, so let's do social, social studies. studies. This one I'm not so good at, so you guys the are going to see. The category is social let's do this studies. One. <laughs> I'm gonna keep at the very studies. low Welcome level because I'm not very one. good at this. Are you ready? Your 90 seconds starts now. Where does the president of the United States live? Oh, this is in, in the White House. Who do we honor on Memorial Day? Memorial Day. All veterans. All workers. All workers. No? Wait, no, that's Labor Day, isn't it? I, I forgot. No, it was Veterans. Then there's two Veterans Day. Then Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Was Picasso a painter? An opera singer. Who's a painter? Who's a painter? What country has more people than any other? Twist. It's the USA. What Wait, what? Fixes sinks. What worker fixes sinks? Sinks. A mechanic. Wait, no, it's not a mechanic. Plumber, I'm stupid. On what holiday do Americans honor working people? Twist. You use Wait, what day? On what holiday do Americans honor working people? Twisted! Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day, isn't it? Which state was not one of the original colonies? Texas. Texas. I think it's Texas. Texas. Which of these countries has the most French people? Twisted. Best French France. people? How many U.S. senators does every state have? I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't know. I'm going to get six. Who I don't know. The photograph? What? Who invented the phonograph? Phonograph. No, he was president. <laughs> oh, oh. You can breathe now. Never mind. You got six right and six hundred brain cells. Yahoo! Well, we did it, boys.
Let's play again. Nope, we're doing the last game. Multi blaster. So this one you just play two people. Let's play multi blaster. How many players? Twist for choices. So you see, you can get to like. You can go up to four players. Four players. Let's do two just because I'm playing by myself because I'm lonely. Let's do level four, level five. Who's gonna win the gold today? Oh, they choose the random Round category. One. Each question is worth two hundred fifty brain cells. The category is grab bag. Oh God, this again. Pass to player one. Player one, slam to start. Fill in the blank. I swim blank. Then he does. And it's faster. Faster. Exactly. Pass to player two. What kind of rock can float in water? Swift. What? What kind of rock can float in water? I don't know. That's a marble, isn't it? Um, the correct nope. answer is pumice. Pumice? I don't even know it's a rock. Round two. Each class or category is social studies. Oh, they're changing it up for us. What continent is covered with ice? Covered with ice, it's Antarctica. Antarctica. That's, that's an easy one. Fantastic! Pass to player two. Oh, wait, what? Replay challenge. What kind of rock can float in water? Oh, I'm a big time already. Pumice. There's not even social Tattoo. studies, no? Oh, and they skipped the social studies for me. The category is English. I didn't see how much this one was worth for. Pass to find the misspelled word. Misspelled word. Cared? Dino dinosaurs. That's not spelled dinosaurs. Where's the A at? Pass to player two. Which address is written correctly? Written correctly. It's this one. That we don't see here that long song. Halftime. It's halftime. In second place, oh. player two. With 950 brain cells. And in first place, player one with 1,200 brain cells. Slam to continue. Right. Round four. Each question is worth 700 brain cells. The category is English. Again? Pass to player one. Which word does not have a K sound? Switch. See, it sounds like the, um, the I quest, the music. Kick. Can keep sent. Pass to player two. What do you call the person who makes pictures for the illustrator? The illustrator. Way to go! Double or nothing. Oh shoot, what's here? Player two, you're up again. Wanna keep your brain cells or go for double? To keep your brain cells, press the down arrow. To go for double, press the up arrow. Let's go for double. Double or nothing. Find a proper noun. Proper noun. Thursday, Sunday, celebration, birthday. I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Yep. The correct answer is Thursday. Ah. Didn't get anything. Round five. Each question is worth 850 brain cells. The category is social studies. We're science, I haven't been science at all. Which is probably what I'm really bad at. What is old faithful? Oh, what? What is old faithful? No. Not on the famous dog. I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be wrong. Oh, I got it right. A famous geyser. Pass to player two. Do you know replay? Replay challenge. Find a proper noun. Oh well, thank you. Thursday. Last round. round. Six. The category is social studies. I haven't got science at all, bruh. They gave me all of them except for science. Which is a state? A state. Mississippi, Kansas City, Pittsburgh. It's Mississippi. Nope. Pass to player two. two. Which continent has the fewest inhabitants? Fewest inhabitants. Oh shit. Uh, I think it was. I think from what I remember. No. The correct answer is Antarctica. Oh, never mind. What an exciting game! 
Silver medal goes to player two with 1,800 brain cells. And gold medal goes to player one with 3,000 This is how basically it works if you actually had two players. Brain cells. Player one, well done. And we're game. done. Visit leapfrog.com for more questions. Oh, well, it didn't say see you later. It just asked me to go to leapfrog. But, yeah, that's going to wrap up the retro review. I've been going on for about 30 minutes now. But, yeah, now time to get a thumbnail shot. <laughs> but I yeah, hope you guys like this retro review. Um, this is something I never do. Uh, hopefully, the next one I want to do is with... That quantum pad uh, that I used to have, if I can get my hands on one again, with a lot of books and cartridges and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, this took this took up a lot of my time and a lot of my camera's battery. Uh, that's how it's like charging on the wall right now. <laughs> but yeah, so I haven't uploaded that in a week and a half. Uh, it was my birthday on Wednesday, and uh, this past week I don't know, I've just been lazy. That this video I was actually supposed to get up last last uh, Saturday. And then last Sunday, and then I was lazy all last week. So, yeah, that's why I never got it. Um, but, yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, stay tuned for tech video. That might be coming up next. Uh, one I've been wanting to do for who knows how long now. But, yeah. Anyways, so that's it for this video, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you ever had any of these toys or any leapfrog toys in general. It's always It's always cool to see when... You know, I see people's comments um, like, oh, I had this and I used this when I was, you know, I get a lot of those comments on like some of my Roblox vids, like one game in particular, was Roblox City, we were like, oh, this is my childhood and that kind of stuff. It's like super popular. And then also some of the tech reviews are like, oh, I remember the memories with this. You know, it's always interesting to read those comments. So let me know if you ever had any of these. But all right, guys, for uh, time to close the video off. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.